Acceleration Measurement uh, System, or SAMS, and the other is the Orbital Acceleration Research Experiment, or OER. Both experiments make use of instruments called accelerometers. I will show you what I mean for an accelerometer. This slinky, with the weight in the middle, is a simple example of an accelerometer. Watch what happens when I move my hand up in a second. For just a moment, the weight in the middle resists the movement. Our eyes serve as the detector in this, in this demonstration. We see the weight resists the movement. This indicates to us that there is an acceleration, that, that an acceleration has been applied to this system. By careful observation, we can even estimate the magnitude of this acceleration with this simple detector. Two tanks, six and seven heaters, Alpha and Bravo, all four of those H2 switches to auto. Okay, the H2s on six and seven to auto. Okay, Bravo, you have the firm. That's complete. And now we'll get the O2, and that's tank six and seven heaters, Alpha only, two to auto. Happy A only to auto on six and seven. A affirmative. Uh, we're a minute to the ZOE. We'll be AOS at sixteen sixteen. We have heard that you have been conducting experiments on combustion in space and have seen flames of unusual shape. Could you tell us what you saw?
of the uh, one of the experiments that we have in the group cabin is a very small contribution from the countries of Latin America uh, to investigate uh, the effects of crystallization of certain proteins uh, with uh, an aim to combat a very serious disease uh, in uh, Central and South America called Chagas disease. And we carry with us uh, certain proteins which we are crystallizing right now uh, over the course of our mission, and we will bring those crystals back to Earth to be uh, analyzed and studied uh, so that they can actually determine the structure of this uh, very serious disease. Okay, and uh, lots of camera activity on board on a long flight. We can't carry enough half a lot magazines picture. for the whole flight, so we have to reload film from small cassettes into the magazine, which involves working inside a dark bag, and that's what I'm doing here. In a uh, couple of hours, we can reload enough film that should hopefully keep us going for the rest of the mission. Uh, we were having a uh, little trouble with this uh, cable here, so uh, I'm contemplating uh, what's the best way to uh, go about fixing this cable uh, so we can uh, use our camcorder interface uh, to get you better pictures coming on down. Um, the ground said be ingenious, and uh, I'm thinking about it. Get ready for the uh, rotation maneuvers that we didn't do. Of course, uh, commanders love to turn on all the primary jets. They've been listening and watching this. If that thing is missing in the next inventory, they will know where to find it. You bet, story. I thought maybe uh, for such a good job, uh, they might give me one as a present. They have the action.
Why am I using? Go ahead, story. She is going to kill me, but you ought to know it's Darina's birthday. She's 35 today. Really? Yes, sir. Well, Dorina, happy birthday. Thank you very much, Maurizio. Uh, Hudsville, Columbia. Go ahead. Uh, Hudsville, uh, Columbia would like to wish Dorina a very happy birthday. And I can't think of a better bunch to spend it with. Columbia, could you put a candle in the glove box? Let's we'll see what we can dig up, Story. And Columbia Huntsville, I see that, and thank you very much. Maybe it was not good enough. And Darina, can you read this? Yeah, and we're getting a great picture. Okay. Dorina, Columbia. Go ahead. Well, I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday from the entire crew of Columbia. Thank you very much. That's much appreciated. Well, there may be other birthdays you've had better things to do, but certainly this one you'll remember. Most definitely.